Today, we are making no-cook pudding cups. into the glasses of your choice. You can make it to the thickness that you prefer. Next, you can top the grated lemon rind on as many cups as you like. Next, you can go with flavored chocolate chips or you can use your shaved chocolate for the next batch of cups. You can add crushed nuts if you prefer or granola. Next you can add cinnamon or shaved cinnamon. And these are beautiful. You can add fruit such as raspberries. You can also put them in a nice long stemmed glass for an elegant look. And add a sprig of lilac for a beautiful table setting. I love chocolate. You can mix up as much as you want. And dig in. You can even eat with your fingers. It's always good, even if it's messy. Just shave off some of the chocolate from one of your favorite chocolate bars. You can also use white chocolate. You can add fruit and seeds if you like. We're cooking up something special for you. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. We're glad you enjoyed this video. Please watch our playlist for other videos 
tutorials, do-it-yourself, DIY, and how to make recipes. And we'll see you next time. Stay tuned. Would you like to know a few fun facts about keto pudding? We will start discussing this in this section. Hang on. As stated, here in this segment, we'll cover some fun facts about keto and about keto pudding. Stay tuned. The keto diet, short for ketogenic, involves eating a high amount of fat, a moderate amount of protein, and very few carbs. As with any diet, adherents tout weight loss, increased energy, and greater mental clarity among the benefits. Ketogenic diets are effective for losing weight and lowering risk factors for certain diseases. While low-fat diets are traditionally recommended for those looking to shed pounds, research shows that keto is, in fact, a superior approach to weight loss. Low-carb chocolate pudding recipe creates a creamy, decadent dessert. This rich pudding is fast and easy to make and can be part of a low-carb, keto, or Atkins diet. Are keto desserts good for you? Yes, fine in moderation, but you can't use them as meal replacements without your macros getting out of whack. Snacks are fine, as are desserts. You just need to make sure that you're eating them in moderation and staying within your macros, which is the foundation of healthy eating. Drizzle some sugar-free frosting onto a keto bread cinnamon roll, as this is very satisfying. When eating keto pudding, or a keto dessert in this case, people can eat a small portion as a low-carb dessert without interfering with their blood sugar levels. The best sweeteners for keto dessert include stevia, sucralose, erythritol, xylitol, monk fruit sweetener, and yacon syrup. Aspartame can be useful on the keto diet, adding some sweetness to your food while providing only one gram of carbs per one gram serving packet. And if it doesn't raise your blood sugar, it likely won't affect ketosis. So who invented pudding? Though they were right about one thing, pudding is certainly a British invention. It was developed from the sausages the Romans brought into the country in the first century BC. The word pudding comes from the Latin word batilius, which means literally sausage. The French word boudin has the same root. The reason for using the word pudding instead of dessert is actually based on the British class system. Traditionally, pudding referred to homely and rustic desserts that were commonly eaten by the lower classes, such as rice pudding. The origin of English pudding dates back to 1305, where the Middle English word pudding connoted a meat-filled animal stomach. Thankfully, the word evolved to pudding and took on an entirely different meaning. In the U.S. and territories, pudding is a milk-based dessert similar to a custard. What was the first pudding ever made? The very first version of the pudding originated in the 14th century. The British made porridge called frumenti, made of beef and mutton with raisins, wines, currants, and spices. 
At that time, pudding tended to be more like soup and was eaten in the time of Christmas preparation. Why is pudding so important? Milk proteins make pudding a source of valuable proteins. Although their protein content is not very high, puddings still contain a significant quantity of proteins, 2.5 to 2.8 grams, compared with several other desserts. Milk-based puddings are also essential sources of vitamins D and B2. All in all, keto desserts are easy to make and healthy to eat with the right ingredients and you won't feel guilty after you eat it. So go ahead and enjoy your favorite keto dessert with pleasure. Good luck with your keto diet and your dessert making. There are so many variations with flavors, toppings, syrups, nuts, and textures.